Are we ready, chat? Hey, hey, Messmins. Uh, yeah, I close quick. Okay. Yes, I do. I really do. I think everyone does, right? Reaching the top six is is like reaching the first goal, actually, of this of this event. I mean, yeah, I'm considered one of the favorites. Hey, crime! Dankeschön. Vielen, vielen Dank. Um, still, I've I've been going here like overall very comfortable. Uh, you know, going as first throughout the stage and. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know I have it, uh, and I know I can take it. My toughest matchup so far, I'd say it has been Dender King actually. He was a little surprising, surprisingly strong, but also caught me caught me a little too much off guard actually. Like some things, yeah, I, I had to settle myself better. first, and uh, yeah, I'm just happy I made it happen. I uh, had a really rough start with the first map, lost the the first map here uh, at the event, but then I started to catch myself and uh, yeah, slowly finding finding my flow. The win I'm most proud of is actually the win against Ramis. Just uh, taking taking him out out of my way um, showed me, you know, what I'm capable of. Reminded me a little about it again um, because I, I've been doubting a little um, after my first match, but uh, it really it, it made me get get back on track. I'm looking forward to play Razy um, because he's he's a really challenging opponent for me. So it's quite a big test actually, and. I know if, uh, if if I manage to pull it off, uh, the victory against him, it first of all means a lot to me, um, but also shows me how ready I am actually at this moment. So uh, I'm really looking forward. I was hoping to to avoid Razy, but now he's on my way, and uh, yeah, whatever it takes. My mindset, of course, is to win to win the event. I mean, that's what I'm here for. And if anything else, uh, to be fair, is 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 like a fail. I mean. Uh, I, I worked so hard uh, to, to reach uh, the first seed actually throughout the stage and I worked ha so hard to uh, yeah to be here and to be ready for this and uh, I feel I am. Any one of us can actually win the belt, uh, like we are such strong players here, just you know a few throw offs a little within the tournament but uh, I'm quite sure uh, the biggest favorites gonna gonna make it the furthest and yeah, we will meet again, and any one of us can can make it in the end. So many really impactful things said by Kilson there. So much I agree with, but I'm going to turn to you both for your reactions, starting with you, Lethal. Uh, Kilson, uh, let's talk a little bit about him. Yeah, this is a player who's just been an absolute dominant force over the entirety of this season. Only losing one series, barely That's lost any maps at all. But really when it comes to land, it's all about trying to get into that comfort zone <laughs> as quickly as physically as possible. Dank. He did mention that interview that during the beginning of that segment. Of that of day, <laughs> he did, you know, drop a map and he wasn't really feeling himself. But he's also said that now he's starting to find his stride. And against the likes of Razy or Venga or Rafa, where they're very well refined, he needs to make sure he's in his peak performance performance coming into today yeah but after that victory versus drummis man said it himself it kind of reignited some of that confidence and confidence is one of the many things you're going to need going against someone like Razy and uh, acknowledging that it's going to be a hard matchup there's going to be a lot of pressure there to perform well um, they have had those kind of matches in the past different story now we are on LAN this is where you have to bring the A game because you can use those previous results for like information right use yeah. them for a little bit of matchup knowledge perhaps but then at the end of the day this is what counts yeah a victory here will mean more than any of the victories or losses prior yeah. and this is the one to do it well, uh, during Razy's interview, uh, prior to the competition, you know, he mentioned about his second place finishes and how he was kind of like a little bit tired of that placing. So now that he's made in the top six, how's Razy feeling? Let's hear from him next. I'm quite happy with how I've been playing so far, so... Getting to top six is something I kind of uh, made as a goal. I expected myself to get here, uh, but I, I want to keep going on and uh, do even better. My toughest match was probably against Avek out of the two uh, matches Which I one, played. Edva? Um, I have lost to him throughout the season, but this time I tried a different approach against him and it worked better. I am uh, have been a couple, you know. Season, actually. <laughs> 
uh, we have uh, faced off <laughs> against each other a couple of times in the uh, recent past, and I'm just excited to play against him in a best of five on LAN. And hopefully I'll do just as fine as I have uh, done uh, yesterday. The person I would like to avoid, uh, I guess, Kilsen is not gonna be uh, uh, someone that I can avoid now. I guess it's, Wenger... Th this, this one is actually quite interesting that he says kinda you know the same what what i said ah yeah 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 it really is um uh, but yeah like he would also really like to avoid me and it's you know it's it's like it's like funny like playing each other we really feel like very very similar <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's actually quite interesting right like this this uh this sentence he just said and i also said earlier um you know it actually allows us to look a little deeper into into the mind of Razy. you know even he's been pulling off uh i i think i tied things up now with my two victories at the event against him but uh before before that actually he he had the upper hand overall in statistics especially when it came down to lands um i think every single time he actually uh, won against me even 2019 um he managed he managed to pull off the win um and uh yeah but 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 still you know even even if you have statistically you have the upper hand he still kind of feels that way so that's actually a uh, quite interesting insight here and Rafa but uh, it's unlikely we'll see and my mindset is I just try to focus uh, one map on one map at a time the current matchup I'm gonna have uh, I'll try to think about my opponent the way I know he plays like um, how am I gonna adapt to it what character is gonna be uh, played by him and me and then just try to go through scenarios in my head Uh, and see if I can, uh, Hast du generell damit du gerechnet, dass du gegen Razy im Finale Other spielst? That, uh, ich ich habe tatsächlich calm, eher mit, mit einem Rafa gerechnet, um, uh, aber gut. Am, am Ende war es mir, war's mir egal, vor allem nach dem ersten well. Sieg gegen Razy um, wusste ich, uh, ist mir, dass es mir wirklich egal ist, wer im Finale uh, gegen mich ansteht. I mean, based off of what we've seen from his performances this weekend, you know, we've we've always. Uh... I've I've just been saying, you know, like uh, I think that's quite a good question. If I expected, uh, if I if I expected Razy to make it to the to the grand final in the end, um, if even after I managed to win him uh, in the winner bracket, um, or if I expected like someone someone like Rafa, for example, um. For me, at that at the moment, I managed I managed to to take the victory against Razy. For me, it didn't matter anymore who whoever makes it. Um, like even even on the other side, um, I mean, I would have loved to play Wenger. I you know like the our our dream was like to play against each other in the grand final. Unfortunately, first off, Maxter stopped Wenger, and then. Uh, Yeah, in the end it was Razy um, who stopped uh, like Wenger's run in uh, in the tournament. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I was hoping, you know, having having this this kind of matchup in the grand final against Wenger would have been lovely, you know, like like really, like <sighs> just just a big big dream actually. But the moment I I managed to pull off the win against Razy. I, I was like, no matter what happens next, you know, at this at this moment, and just like I said uh, in in my interview before the match here, um, for me it was it was really important just for myself, uh, for my for my confidence, for you know just to see how ready I am. Um, just that moment, I knew. Just right now, I have everything that's needed to uh, to make the grand finals, you know. 
uh, commented and and said Razy shows a phenomenal phenomenal style of play and, and uh, consistency. But you know this weekend might actually be even. I think it's actually the same. Yeah, he's cutting. Let's be honest. He's just fed up of being a bias. I think it's, man, a, it's the it's same so many events, for both So many times at, at second point. places. And it gets to the point where it gets a bit boring after a while, doesn't it? And he's looking to be as refined as possible. And there's been times in the past where you probably think, due to the slight lack of creativity, it's kind of... I, I think with Razy, I'm like 7-7 seven, seven or 8-8. Eight, eight. And with Rafa, I am 4-4. Four, four, if I remember correctly. I've cost him that first place from time to time. It's been multiple opponents as well. It's not just been Rafa the entire time. It's Wenger last year where he came up quite close, but slowly a little bit short towards the end. But this is his time. This is his moment now to really show what he can really be capable with here. Yep. But he's got some tough road ahead, like the likes of Kielsen, whoever comes out in the other winner's semis between Max and Wenger. But hopefully it will be his time, but I'm sure he's hoping so as well. I think in this situation, when someone is just really, really, the only thing left for them to achieve is that first place. Because because they've done literally everything else. And in Razy's case, on more than one occasion, your mission going into this besides winning is that when you get into that grand finals, just do your best to make sure it's on that upper bracket side. Like just yeah. give yourself that small amount of less work to do in grand finals. Take that mm. one map advantage, make the opponent have to do more. Like. If you're on that, we would normally call it a sort of comfort zone in right. these double elimination grand finals where the person that's not lost makes it through. It really is your reward for being the most dominant player of the tournament. Um, yeah, that's quite an interesting question. So the question is, uh, which, which opponent, uh, you know, changes the most? Uh, when you compare LAN gameplay to, to online gameplay, like how they play online and how they play on LAN. I think we we all um, we all have seen Razy slowing things down a lot more right off the start on, on almost every single map. Like there, there wasn't this, this kind of speedy storms um, by him happening. But... It also, it came down to that it didn't work as well as, as, it, as it used to work uh, online. Because once again, you know, like I talked a little earlier when we looked at the belt about scale, the Pika's advantage thing, like it weights heavy in online gameplay and it doesn't weight as heavy in, in LAN gameplay. So actually some of these very aggressive pushes you make on your opponents they literally don't work at all on LAN because you don't have that kind of momentum going on, which uh, you most of the times have going on online. So that's quite a big difference. Uh, yeah, natürlich. Wär, wär natürlich schön gewesen, alle, alle uh, Leute da gehabt uh, zu haben, ne? Uh, yeah, question was just if I, if I have been, you know, missed a few players at the event i mean of course i mean having Juan, for example there at the event itself would have been great to meet him in, in person again um always fun times with him same same for cypher and and also you know like like base and even you know if if i'm not not the best friend with with cooler but uh, still like all these players are, are missed very very much um like like seriously by all of us. At that point, right? So in that case, if Razy makes it there, that's like the best shot you've got of being able to take it. You know, get rid of that one map and you're good to go. Yeah. But he has to get there first. That's yeah. the thing. He's yeah. got to get there first. And at this point, every player seems to have accepted, like, you're going to have to go through the best no matter what, right? It doesn't really matter. There's not a player you're going to have, or you're going to be able to avoid. So I think that's the right mentality going into it. Gentlemen, we're moments away from kicking off this first semifinal. It's now time to look at the picks of bands. Reminder that these, all of the games today outside of the grand final are best of fives. So the map pool will expand. The champion picks are going to expand. And uh, there will be inevitably some heavies despite... Okay, yeah, picks and bans. Let's just have have a have a quick uh, go through, actually, because uh, you know, because we can. So, uh, first off, I mean, of course, I'm banning Vale. That's that's like not really a surprise. Razy banning Insomnia because he's never playing that map. 
Um, I was able to pick up Woken first and Razy went for deep. He, I think he absolutely didn't expect me to, to make the slash pick here. But also we did practice this matchup once online against each other. And in that practice session, um, Razy was actually able to beat me with Strock. So I think he felt quite comfortable with the Strock pick, but I played with Slash like really, really well uh, ar around, you know, what he tried to do. And uh, yeah, but first Awoken. I mean, I, I was I was thinking thinking hard about the first ban here, actually. Like... Razi's Essena is 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 not like one of the strongest Essenas at this point. He's still on the improving part. Um, he did. Uh, I mean, he's already got quite good playing Essena overall on on a few maps. Um, but still, I wouldn't consider him one of the best Essenas making his moves around the map. He has some, uh, you know, quite some tricky moves. Um, he he's able to pull off already, but I I still think like. He he lacks a bit of quick decision making with Asina and and what what kind of aggression you can actually pull off with uh, being an Asina, um, like he doesn't doesn't do it that constantly. So uh, that's that's why I was thinking like should I ban Anarchy or Asina or you know I could play Nyx but Nyx is so tricky against Anarchy because I already have the smell that he's gonna go Anarchy so which champion should I ban first and then I was just like okay I mean if necessary and, and he needs to try to catch up uh, that situation to catch up to your opponent is actually a little easier with the Asina I mean Anarchy can do the same you know rocket jump inject being super quick around the map because of air control. Um, so I think if he would have played Asina or Aniki, it wouldn't have changed a lot. At, in this matchup at least. And yeah, from that moment on, I mean, he picked deep. I was, I was kind of like thinking about uh, the slash pick immediately. Like first we do maps, right? And after we do champions throughout, uh, throughout the, uh, the picks. And, uh, yeah, on, on third map, I actually had to do a sacrifice. Like I, I, I could have done different also. Like, uh, for example, let's think I, I banned Galena. It would have created a visor versus doom matchup. I think it could have actually worked the way I was playing overall in my matches and how ready I was already. Um, but still, facing a visor on DM6 is really you. You don't like it. You just don't like it. His visor is really strong on on Blood Covenant. So I kind of you know what I was thinking then was okay. Let's. I'm just gonna do a sacrifice here at this point. So I will. I will actually ban visor and also pick Elena to take it away from his uh, you know repertoire. And, uh, yeah, I mean, CK was next. Galena is, is really, really good on CK. And, uh, he bent the first champion with DK. I mean, he knows that uh, my DK, uh, can be, can be quite, uh, quite good, uh, overall. So he got rid of my DK. And so I picked BJ because I felt like in practice BJ... Yeah, worked overall and and Eisen, you know, you only have your turret, your place, you need kind of really need to set up the fights beforehand even. It's 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 even happening. But in the match itself, I mean, he he played Eisen great on CK against BJ, really. He really did. But it also came down to uh yeah, that I didn't have like a real burst ability. I mean, having like two LGs in your hands it also makes my hitbox for that amount of time actually bigger. I'm not sure if anyone have ever noticed when someone is using dual wield, his chest goes like this and uh, you can hit everything, you know, on it. So it's it's actually not that much of an advantage uh, using dual wield very often because of that. Because you are you are a much easier target once you use it. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, he made use of that, actually, especially in the last fight on CK. Uh, we will see that. 
I mean, and then we went to the last map. Of course, I'm, I have to ban Clutch, so he's not, not raiding and running away. Um, and I think this matchup was still kind of okay-ish. Just by champions and the map itself, it's, it's a very 50-50 matchup, actually. Uh, why not use Ranger? Because Ranger was banned here on deep. But I also, I, anyways, like I didn't feel comfortable that much anymore on Ranger. So it actually came in handy that he banned Ranger. Like no joke. The fact that they've kind of been taking a back seat throughout the weekend. So let's take a look at what we've got here. Awoken for map number Yo, one. Franz and then Akotsky. Deep Embrace for map two. Doing? We've got I'm Blood fine, Covenant for number three. We got I, Corrupted. I think he banned Ranger because he was kind of scared. For me picking ranger like online my ranger is quite strong but on land i i felt like you need to me you need to be much more accurate with with how you're throwing the orb in order to do damage so at one point i also didn't like play ranger a lot anymore keep and finally ruins to round us off who wants to take a look at these champs look at that so we were saying all of the weekend long that players are prioritizing those light champions first. And would you believe it? Let's kind of look at the picks and bans. <laughs> uh, the longer we go down and the more options we sort of run out of, we kind of get the perfect example. We start all lights. Once the lights are almost completely gone, it becomes medium, medium, medium. And then when there's literally... Yeah, I, I think we we strong. should we should just start in the match here because it's five more minutes of uh, talking. Um, let's go. Uh, why do do people get a haircut after the biggest event of the year? It's a mystery. I mean, I got haircut before. Not sure what you're talking about. Had the same the same length of hair before uh, at the event before the event, uh, like one week one week before the event. Or, yeah, yeah, around one week before the event. And, you know, same length right now, same color. Here with a legendary matchup. Oh, really? They, they've ju just went to uh, to a barber. Two titans of the game and really just scientists, right? Just happy to sit yeah. there, grind it out, learn it for what it is. And they get incredibly, incredibly capable. Where now, you know, as we're going into the final moments, we're now jumping into Awoken. This could be a long <coughs> one, folks. But I feel like that's kind of what we all want, isn't it? Yeah, you know me, longer the better. And this is for everyone else as well. Every we go to like, the map number five, I'm more than happy for it. I don't care how long it takes going to this point. But we're starting off from Racy's perspective to see exactly what shenanigans he's going to be up to here. We know we're used to him playing out the clutch. But of course, going for those lights, as you rightly mentioned, prior to... Oh. Like I didn't expect him to say to stay in the same uh, same spot here for such a long time. Like there there could have even been a moment actually for me using my invis and pushing him with rockets while while he only had like LG. I would have seen him here stay staying here, waiting for any kind of queue so he knows where he has to, has to go next. But uh, I still took you know. Did, did things right, you know, having a rocket, uh, trying, you know, wherever he, whatever he wants to do, try to maybe get a bit of damage uh, onto him. And he wasn't like super sure at this moment already where I am actually are, so. Tyson those over the heavies, as so we realized that has been a long time, of course, been that land environment and on this build, so. It's interesting to see that they're hey, hey, more than anything else. But 30 seconds in, Razor does catch him a little bit with the LG. Of oh, course, like, I would have, in shit. that situation, I would have liked a little better uh, rocket, actually. Straight away, so he's going to try. But then, very good rail, but very good heavy machine gun also. Get away, but also took a bigger damage in the meantime. 75 damage was yeah. huge. I like Kilson's patience there with the ghost walk. Uh, was kind of looking towards Razor, jumping towards rail. But I think Razor must have realized that's a, a bit of a risky path to take. Kilson still having the reactions to flick to it on the right anyway. But we're seeing a little bit of player identity expressed here with the Knicks versus the Anarchy. Now, we haven't really talked about the champion matchups today because, to be honest, we've talked about these matchups so... Oh, wait. Did, did I forget to tweet out that I'm live? Is that possible? Let me just check real quick. I was just thinking. Oh yeah, let's let's just pull off a tweet. I totally forgot forgot.
I totally forgot. So that's why you are late. Sorry. It's my fault, Chris. It's my fault. I saw it. I tweeted. How can I... Oh, man. My brain is... is so lazy since since after the event i didn't fully rest since then you know there was always some stuff to do but once we are done with the recaps i will actually chill for a couple of days you know like uh necessary like i'm really i'm i'm sorry chat i'm i'm sometimes i'm dumb happens so much over the course of the weekend that there's not oh. much left to break down this is the we've talked about these versus the anarchy actually really that the that double game. jump <coughs> man my voice i just broke it. it it was so good to realize once he hits me now he's he's gonna push me real real hard like real real hard matchups today because to be honest and even that tri -board, like how how i knew like almost his, his exact position right if i only would have would have walked a little a little further and in, in the water i would have would have had a better angle to hit him here but i mean look again how close yeah, the tribold actually yeah, was like, exploding to him like today. my reading my reading throughout this game was already huge like really really big to be honest We've talked about these matchups so much over and the now this the one that there's not much left to break down this is the finals day this is where it oh yeah sorry sorry player. sorry and in this case my fault having the ability to just be so, so we are easy. going through it again come on let's go yeah we, we are going through it again i mean look today because tribald how close it is actually it's right next to him like even it's his gun is shining even the crosshair is lighting up be honest and then i was realizing like okay yeah 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 i know what you want to do now he he wants to deal some some damage on me, so uh, he's able to push. I'm not gonna allow you that. I'm really I really not. We've talked about these matchups. And then so this much double jump, you know. Weekend, there's not much left was to insane break down. move. This there the was a slight day. chance for him to hit me, but uh, I made it work. And in this case, Kilson having the ability to just be so much more careful. We and now I was in a position, uh, very close to my invis. I mean, still nine seconds, right? But I was in a good position to uh, maybe make something happen ha happen like. Uh, Get some damage off anything, you know. Know how much he loves playing the Knicks, and then Razy side. It's all about that mobility. Unlucky. It, it could have worked really well. And then, uh, silently, I fell down actually. Sure, but. But I heard his rocket jump, and then I knew. Okay, yeah, he takes mega. I take uh, heavy. This is Razy's creativity. It's, it's okay. I had my invis back. That That's why I immediately game, went we'll onto heavy. One of them comes out on top. Yeah, it certainly will indeed. Uh, Kilson still hasn't picked up Nail G, and Razy course been denying it for the majority of the time just buying his time waiting to see exactly what Kilson is gonna be up to it's like I said just trying to feel each other out in a moment to decide exactly how things are gonna work out and then when there's that momentum shift going on one side that's where we soon see the frag start tallying up at that later stage but for now items still almost in sync just going for that mega and Razy now at least has a little bit of time to try and contest it even if oh he doesn't pick it up that was a Lord. good LG using that ghost walk also using the inject here just to back away yeah that, that, what, that again impressive now, this, was, this, this was actually Coming huge hot again from Satan's butthole in central Germany sweating to death <laughs> yo Scott thank you thanks for the resub thank you very much man welcome back uh yeah, this this was actually huge that uh, he pushed the uh, pushed the item the way he did, and I still had my invis because I didn't I didn't use the last circle of items right, so uh, little bit of time to that first rocket was big already like you know taking off like almost all of his armor and then then you know all his armor gone second rock I want I wanted to do like nothing else then you know just get rid of all his armor because now. That's the time. That's the moment, actually. Uh, you know, no matter what champion you play, uh, things get more predictable because now he's thirsty for you know taking two armors and he needs to find them first. And I can actually predict uh, and and command actually how and and what kind of area I'm I'm allow him to go to. You know. Good LG using that ghost walk, also using the injective just to back away extra insurance but it looks like it's just gonna be back to square one that was uh rather explosive in a short space of time the denial there from Razy trying to keep him and now because i took the small armor before um it's not up he saw that so he needs to keep Stop going safe got to get a little bit of armor back here because 
That's one thing both of these can But then he had such a rocket. I was like, oh my gosh. Beyond 40 Lions gifted a tier one sub to Cubit underscore. Yeah, I'm also, oh my gosh, about this one. 40. Come on. Impressive. The arm 40 lions gifted a tier one sub to Huskat. <laughs> it's at this point again. So we're going to get stuck in, in just talks or what? <laughs> Impressive. The arm 40 Thanks lions for, gifted for a tier another one five gifted, man. Like you did yesterday already. Dude. Oh, okay, then, then it's fine. Throw, throw it at me. It's fine. It's fine. I, I will take care of it. Sub to Zopra <laughs> Can do. Impressive. Okay, yeah, but yeah, uh, let's go again to, uh, to this situation. Let's go again to this situation. Ah, oh, well, well, by the way, welcome everyone who just got the gifted sub by 40. And once again, I mean, I said it already, I know, but. Dude, you, uh, you are the man. You really are. Short space of time, the denial this, there. This rocket, like, how can up. you, can you expect my, I mean, my half stack wasn't like really, really good. Um, uh, but still I knew whatever happens, I have enough to survive, you know, whatever hits me at this, at this moment. Nice and safe, got to get a little bit of armor back. But, uh, I mean, I heard him below me, but uh, do you really expect a face rocket to hit you? That's one thing both of these can do. It's hit like yeah, a truck. It was so big, actually. Exactly. So, so big. Well, we but luckily, talking. I had some restack right right next to me. So uh, it was, like, not that much of a big deal. I mean, at this point, it, I was only one rail of, uh, away from death, right? But uh, I tried to make sure to not, uh, to not show myself and show myself at the right moment again. Talking about the prediction towards the Mega, it is going to be that narrow next objective. But crazy knows he's in position for heavy so we were able to sit there just a little bit so yeah i i i just listened to the map what he's doing and then i i crawled out of my hole once once he was gone for the heavy because then you know there's there's kind of the turnaround moment uh yeah you still you on the one hand know what your opponent wants to do next but on the other hand at this moment do you do i really want to maybe lose heavy even uh it's a uh, sometimes really tough decision to make, actually. A bit longer, you know, try and get that information, try and maybe get like a range shot. Yeah, there, now it's me, actually. Back off. I want to Take have like full instead. natural stack Crazy again. Looking a little bit so better I'm, in the stack you know, department. just waiting here right again, now, having a good position. A little bit more of that damage. This rail was good. Oh, try. Like, it, it It was an all right trade, but only because I hit I hit that rail shot. That moment, it, it, was, it was okay, the situation. I didn't expect the tribal to hit me this hard. But because I was able to hit the rail, it also at the same time put pressure onto him again. So I was fine, was was able to restack. Hey, Bolt. Man, Brazy has just had such a hole over where kills Niz. Nice there rail. Another rail Didn't to expect. connect. And 10 seconds until the next item. They're split but I down knew the this one. Are we going to take one up? each? Or surely this is the opportunity Brazy would kind of be a bit greedy. Heard him jump. Forward. So I knew he's at Mega now. Yeah, nothing wrong with a bit of greedy. Brazy coming in with the LG. Both coming out at the same time. But really, if that goes where he does, he uses it. A rail, a rail hit would have would have meant so much actually in that situation. I mean, look at look at his HP. He would have had 10 HP left. Would have been an easy finish with the stack I had left, you know. But uh, unfortunately, I missed the shot. Uh, but I mean, we were still alive, so we both actually were happy about how it turned in the end, to a degree. Just on the brink. And raising now, just waiting for him, daring for him. He had a, a very good read, considering. Look, didn't hit the TP sound going through with the ghost walk. And yeah, that actually, you know, I could, I, I saw myself being down one frag in that situation. I'm not sure how I managed to survive that one. Really, I, I really don't know. But I made it. I think that that little rocket boost just boosted me up quick and high enough that I was out of sight. Gilson is literally knocking on death's door. Raising now just flanked all the way around. Sadly, doesn't catch him, but has the stack to work with to try and catch him. But he was just fair top mid catch up, as you saw. But he might be able to go around this different route, picks up the light. But yeah, Razy knows how, how weak I am round. at this point. If Gilson was playing and a I had to try to just uh, get my ability back up. It's just his but then, very good defensive ray shot here. Stops his complete momentum because he ran out of armor. Stay alive just long enough. 
to get out of there safely. However, has had to disengage in the process, and, and now he has both damage, items. given Razy full map control, to the point where Razy is now significantly delaying these two items, where that split that we just saw probably not going to happen. Yeah, all, all Razy wants to do at this point is just keeping me low, actually. So he has an easy time hunting me down, uh, you know, the moment he wants to. I mean, he had more than enough time right now at this point. Crazy. So Didn't get a frag in that. I'm exchange, I'm not sure why he did decide to to slow down as much as he did in this situation. Did so much damage that still got some form of a victory. In this case, it's map control. Yeah, speaking of map very control, very good this tribal. Like that tribal was huge actually. It stripped off uh, like all of his stack. Uh, he had above me. Not for Razy. Heavy's up in the next no, couple I seconds. Went Items little, are second uh, gated. Kilson is still weak, so he's gonna yeah, mid, mid have control a real again. tough time trying to at least contest this one way or another. And he's even in the choke point, so this is a good time for Razy just to jump just on. Just heard him left, so I jumped to rail. Done. Not right, so this to be, easy, but to be just and to stay Kielsen, safe. He can't challenge at this moment. moment. Look at the difference in stack between the two. Razy's just because all I have, I have to, I have to do now is. Once Razy wants to wants to catch me now, I need I need to hit something, you know. I need to hit a rail. I need to hit a few good rockets or tribals, um, so that I'm able to stop his momentum. Because no matter what I hit, like directly on him, like tribal ninety damage is is enough to to stop him, like mostly. Um, but and you know now now it's the moment actually things get more tricky because he has overstack on armor and HP and he has his ability ready so that's that's quite a stack you have to to fight against right here Ben absolutely everywhere but also in priority making sure to get that top mid control he's trying to catch him but kills him it's getting a bit dicey yeah I I, I needed to sacrifice my ability here actually and at this moment uh, in order to get to get some armor going but. I think it still was kind of worth it, um, but I had to be even more careful at this point. See for him, but he is able to stay alive. But this is for you the worst position to be in. But he goes walked out of there. Perfectly understandable. Uh, it's just. And now I sacrifice my ability to get up to 75 armor. On the one hand, it's good, but I don't have my ability now, and Razy is still on overstack, uh, like maximum overstack at this, this point. So safety above all else. With the way that Razy's controlling this map, even conceding a single frag here would be a bit disastrous because then you can spawn, Razy might catch you, and then it might daisy chain into a lot more than Now I needed what? my ability back, so that's that's why I went uh, true banana, and down there the heavy machine gun, even he hears me, and knows my exact position. ...game, Kilson has room to work with here. You know, yes, Kilson's been out of control, yes, Kilson's having to play a defensive game, but I mean... It's a battle of two lights, Kilsen. It, it has to be a scary position to have very low armor, in some cases none. Oh, that rocket. What a prediction rocket. I mean, I'm not sure if he just fell down, actually, um, or if he really tried to land uh, to land a shot here with a rail. Um, but that rocket saved me big time. Yeah, absolutely. You know it's stacked, but that rocket is a fantastic way. Of answering back just a little and bit. now that yeah, that rocket be... also made me feel like much more comfortable again you know having having my feet on the map back again so all what i did the past two minutes you know trying to stay alive and get back my stack uh, sacrificing my ability also to get back stack um has been worth it that that one moment is meaningful because yeah the heavy got picked up but the point is these defensive rocket, good damage. positions from Kilson have been keeping him in this game it's preventing Razy from being too aggressive and just and yeah he just was uh way too early on on position of the mega half I mean I was also but I was kind of prepared for it you know so uh it's like that the surprise factor allows Kilson to play the slow game for five whole minutes and finally that first frag nice raid hit by him just so as mega comes through as well yes yeah, stri stripped off all my armor and rockets from and <laughs> here I I don't know what I was thinking I think uh may I was I was thinking like okay maybe uh yeah I'm not sure what I was thinking I I I should have finished him actually that moment to be fair like like really I should have finished him but for some reason I didn't didn't realize uh how weak he actually was like like really and I don't know why actually why why I thought his deck is bigger than uh yeah but sometimes sounds sounds and quake is it's tricky to judge you know how 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 low your opponent re uh, now really is 
And it was one of those situations, like, uh, really. I, I didn't realize, and uh, not even by the sound, he w the way he was screaming um, when he got hit. I, I couldn't tell how weak he was. I really, I couldn't. Heavens. Kielsa was waiting for such a long time for that moment to be able to take advantage of the situation with that aggressive ghost walking. Just a bait, Razy out to make him think that he's still there, but not really too short in terms of the position. Razy. Yeah, I would have liked to jump to the ray gun there. Would have gave me a, a better position, actually. Didn't make a good read, but just couldn't exactly guess where he was going to be, of course. He was next to Milk at that point. But Kielsen now looking very strong indeed. Looking much better than he was during the first few minutes with Razy having taken full advantage of that stack and having that full map control. And now Kielsen yeah, has been able to... You know, if I would have made the nail gun to, to rail, I would have never lost the mega health here at this, uh, at this moment. But, uh, yeah. I mean, fucked up the jump, so... What can you do? Got punished for it, like, immediately. Get that back, but for now, a few rockets here from the tribal area from Kielsen just to try and help deny or do some damage on towards that Mega. But Razy does have a big stack once again. So now, this, this was the moment or, uh, again to realize, okay, now he got both items. Um, I gotta be careful uh, getting hit, you know? a little bit to contest these items once more and speaking of items, just having a quick look, it's currently eight items for Kielsen and nice, 15 nice rail. for Razy. And uh, this one rail already uh, made stack like quite equal, but still he had his inject, so uh, it's still more stack he has than you would actually think. Crazy. But I don't feel like the items are really the be all end all of how this match is unfolding. It has seemed like Kilson is more than happy to concede them, uh, especially getting that information from that first frag. You know, it's kind of confirming to Kilson that I can. Yeah, play this I one. actually I realize. Actually. I mean, look, I had one rocket left, right? That's why I ha actually had to back off in that situation. If I would have ro uh, had rockets left, I, I would have kept spamming banana doors, actually. Um, but since I ran out of rockets, I had to back off, unfortunately. From that first frag, you know, it's kind of confirming. It was, it was actually next level to, to realize that. To Kilson that I can play the slow game. I can deliberately play out of uh, well, certainly not out of position because he's been. In yeah, I, I didn't want I didn't want any any kind of surprise damage on me. That's why I popped my invis right after I shot the rocket. I mean, maybe I would have been able to to hit one on him. Um, would have been great, like a big bonus actually. Um, uh, but I didn't. But you know, we didn't we didn't do any kind of damage to us, so it was a rightish situation. Tribold uh, is, yeah, to, uh, trying to stop someone uh, with Tribold pushing through Banana is uh, is not easy. It's it's more unpredictable than predictable how, how your opponent is gonna rush out through the Banana doors, you know? With rockets, you always know at least where the rockets, uh, rocket is exploding. But... Uh, and these amazing rockets, Freibold makes it a little more random. But part of that feels like yeah, he knows good raids by both of us. Case, right? I knew, I okay, on he's, he's on heavy, Razy back on heavy again. Has the so now I heard him uh, jump head. And, and now I was thinking, okay, most likely he wants to set up himself like very early now because he still has inject ready um, and wants to set up himself uh, for Mega. And he doesn't want me he to get the Mega actually. In a lot of cases, the stack. My ghost walk has got to be used perfectly. And in the first frag that we saw, you know, that exact defensive opportunistic. Yeah, he was he was aware of that fact actually, so he played it quite well here. Stick game plan worked out wonders, and now that. But then with with that little little bit of uh, splash damage he actually did to me, he already started to run at me, which. Uh... Yeah, I think online it's gonna work better than than on land actually. This kind of move. Um, but I also, like, my rocket uh, prediction here at this moment, um, was, like, on point. So, uh, I stopped all of his momentum, hitting a rocket right into his face. I mean, now look again at the, at the stacks, right? He still has inject, sure, um, but the stacks are almost similar still. A defensive game, another defensive another one. 100. That rail would have been great to hit, uh, but, uh... Damage. Rocket. I mean, this yeah, would have been like a bonus flick also in that situation. Not necessary hit, but uh, would have been cool to have, you know? This is the clear idea. Kilson isn't playing your conventional game here where I'm going to just go for the items. I'm going to constantly fight on them. 
He's using the Ghost Walk and big time those defensive rockets to just keep Razy unable to push. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Time, those defensive rockets. I mean, he wanted to take away the top armor here, right? But I'm not sure. I mean, if you, you can actually see by his movement, he was quite sure I'm staying on the other side, right? Uh, exclamation mark sensitivity. Um... He was, he was quite sure that I'm staying on the other side here. You can see how he's, you know, looking at me kind of through the wall. And uh, still he walked all the way to the armor. Like he, he should have secured the area first uh, before taking it. Kids. Like every bit of damage actually in this matchup means, means a lot. So just keep Razy unable to push. And then that one frag he got, Razy pushed too far towards an item and paid the price yeah, for it. Yeah, good, good rail by yeah, both exactly. of us. I mean, for him, the, that rail hit was actually worth a little more than for me, since he still has like uh, overstack, overstack. Um, but he uses uh, his ability now, you know, so that uh, that is gone. I knew about it. I still had my ability. All I had to do now is make sure to survive one rail shot. He did, and. Okay, Kills HP bubble. Okay, I have enough, enough HP, but look, a little bit of shotgun splash, uh, you know, and uh, back on 90 HP. Now, keeping track I was of like, shit, okay, that yeah, I have to back, back off. Every no way I'm going to risk this two now. And a half minutes left, but you know what, here, catch up at this point. If he can do it for five minutes, he may be able to do it for two and a half, but the problem is Kilson is so weak at this stage, and one good read Now, that was actually quite quite a good good read by Razy to take that armor away. Um, he predicted me quite well here. Easy will cost him and potentially tie this up. So the heavy. And he is doing some rocket jumps uh, and everything just to get rid of some armor. So he's able to take away the small armors. Hey, hey, Fluke Mango. We'll be up in the next five seconds. Razy's currently top mid. He could drop down and maybe go for the other angle, which he has done. Going for the TP to see if he can find where Kilsin is lurking. And around, I had to get out of his way now. He made that read. He knew straight away, but there's no point even attempting for that heavy as of yet. The stack in terms of congestion is absolutely no need for it and wouldn't be able to win that outright anyway. Yeah, but, but sometimes you have to play this, this kind of defensive game for like two circles because that's the moment. The stack is going to be too big uh, and you, you're not going to sacrifice like uh, 80 armor, you know? Like, or yeah, like, like 75 armor. I mean, well, whatever, whatever you need to. Like, you don't do it at some points because it's it's just too expensive and you would risk your control on the map if you if you sacrifice, like, too much of your stack. And, uh, I mean, you want to go healthy into fights, right? Uh, in order to win it as clean as possible. But, uh, yeah, sometimes you just uh, play around the items a little for, like, two circles. And it kind of, you know, uh, you 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 kind of stop your opponent from being able to take away the armors once you don't do damage on him, and that's exactly what I did here. Wait, why is your armor on top shows only about fifty HP, while on bottom left corner we can see one hundred forty? Uh, it's uh, but, uh, bottom right. He sees Anarchy. We on his POV. Of course. But good try. Good try. Doesn't want to waste that ghost walk. Still, two minutes left. 1 0 in favor of Kilsen. Happens to the best. To see how Razy can try and tie this up. Ghost walk's been ready for a long time, and it's obvious as to why. Saving it to force Razy to encounter you twice. And on a map like Awoken, if Kilson's in good positions, speaking of good positions, hanging up on that jump pad. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what to think about that kind of push by him, to be fair. Like, it, it was really, really risky. It could have even led, uh, led to, the, to a situation where I LG him hard enough that he gets pushed back, uh, pushed back to the, to the jump pad. And, you know, he would have, would have gotten wrecked it that way able to just push even the likes of so Anakin that situation was that ledge, actually that aggression was was a little questionable all of this is i was happy about it you know i got like, i really was in the world to how kilson has approached this map it has been a clear yeah. i i mean here now i just heard the jump pad and i was sure mega's up very soon um i didn't know the exact second actually at that moment but i was i was sure he's gonna try something uh to jump at me uh you know going going the rail because he expected me to stay a little longer in the mid area and at the top, you know. Um, but I didn't. I already prepared for his 
next move he wanted to do. So I was ready with Rail the moment he wanted to jump over and stop his momentum. So he's dropping down and made it perfectly work. Clear game plan from the get go. It's been Razy's going to be the one cycling around, picking up everything, using that speed. But I have my own share of utility, stuff that Razy isn't going to have. And with the amount of confidence and the placement of these rockets, it has been the rockets that have been keeping Kilsen in this match. So much of them. And oh, even that, that rail like was that. so Razy important. And actually, wait, this might be a chance to go in. Heavy's just a good rocket. Spawn, Very good yet. rocket here. Yeah. Now it's been taken short, sure, but so much damage on the opportunity has been done. Razy goes down right as the inject gets popped. And with a minute yeah. Uh, actually, that rail did allow me to push to push the way, but uh, still, I mean, he made me super weak, and then he he also was like so quick on on reading what I'm about to do to do next. So uh, he made a real good decision right after he popped inject, like you could see on on his screen. But uh, shotgun damage, damage just, uh, came in a little quicker actually before before the injection. Combo was like completely true, so uh been done. Raise goes down right as the inject gets popped. Yeah, I think he's he spawned right right at LG, right? Drop down to heavy machine gun. And then but I mean look at the stacks. Like let me just hit a single ray here at this moment, and he's in big, big troubles, you know, to make anything on the map anymore. And with a minute left to go. But then I I wasn't ready for his kind of push here. He did so much damage and at this moment, it was already not worth it to use my invis even because one minute left and uh, yeah, 40 HP. I mean, what are you going to do with that? No, oh, that is a disaster. You want that? I actually did use my invis though. I actually did, did use my invis just to, uh, you know, to waste some more time until he gets the fir his first wreck on the board now. Inject now. Oh, he's only on 25, 8. Yeah, I would have liked to hit one rail to stop a bit of his... Uh, his momentum here, he just said, because he knows my exact stack, how weak I am. Uh, he even picked up the small armor. HP, Kielsen looking to try and back away. Goes for but this was weird, that he didn't went for, for the Mega at all, at this moment. He's only going to be out for a while good, and good takes push, him down good with good the heavy push. machine gun. 45 seconds left, Kielsen's going straight in his word. And I almost, um, almost, just the way he made it work with the heavy machine gun, I almost made it work with the starting machine gun. Um, and it only happened because he didn't he didn't choose to pick the mega health first. Um, Raza pushed me, but you know, like my ability was off for another thirty seconds. He he should have known. He put it. He should have done things a little different. He would have he would have had a better control on the map. The mega is up as well. Razor doesn't take it. Heavy damage. I mean, of one. course. Great, great damage. Both of us now so now having the two two is big. Sure. And in the end, Crazy uh, takes him down. So, I mean, I did so much damage actually onto him that there's no way that he's able to immediately push me again. Five things up. Things have escalated so quickly here, Ryan. And now Razor's going to TP through to see if he can catch him again. But Kilsen has got a good stack, but hasn't got the weaponry in his arsenal. I don't know how this happened. I really don't know how this happened. Yeah, on the first frag there, Kilsen was weak, but really maybe stuck in a position where running away wasn't really an option, perhaps. But it's just kind of unreal to see that kind of patient eight minutes. Kilsen playing it absolutely flawlessly all the way through. Missing that rail. Uh, That's that bad that rocket would have been so good. Ten seconds to go. We're absolutely going to be in a sudden death position. This next frag's going to do it. Okay, now Kielsen. we back where we have been, like in the fifth, sixth minute already. Uh, I had to be careful now, not getting hit. Yes, big stack. Here. The ghost I secured the armor though, so that also but means I have the top control here. We're now finally able to go back to where we were for most of this map. Kilson. Yeah, a little, a little movement fail by him. It allowed me to hit him like much easier. Um, and I knew, okay, stacks are not that different at this point. An item because he knows there's no point being there but we can get damage first, remove the usefulness of that item, start to play slow. And just like that, as long as we have a ghost walk and Kilson has a regular stack, this is absolutely doable, but good lord, what a scary 30 seconds that was. It certainly was. First series of the day, first best of five, first map, first sudden I was sudden still on my way absolutely to get my ability back here. Raising it. Ooh, if, if necessary. Yeah, missed him. But then, His you know. At least one of those rails. At least. I, because I hit that one rail shot, he actually had to back off because it's quite scary once you get hit again. I mean, with what, what would have been left. Uh, 50 HP, that's not, not a lot, so... He made made like the perfect choice here to back off. 
kills and that's to keep him at bay Take top for armor. the time being. And go for heavy. And now, and Razy, of course, was perfect choice. straight forward into it. Kilson was fair just to get, of course, a timing. He's actually circling around into that choke point, but... I, I realized that rocket jump, uh, okay, okay. I mean, it does it does quite some damage to himself. Razy, he has actually found him. The ghost walk is still there, but things like it's just been used to get behind. Yeah, he, he didn't, didn't predict it well here, but I also missed my rage shot. So for him, it was still like... He won that kind of situation because he got the uh, mega health now. Him. And luckily, and I didn't get it. But then this rocket happened. And it all just, you know. Okay, wow. but it's only take that last rocket. Back to the he beginning. Was just going, oh now he has one. And I was like, well, oh my god. At least flank no way, no it, way. Back and forth, but back but and forth. Really, but it's going to be so careful. He wants to get around the corner. Yes, he does. Just on the brink. Every single rail here is gonna just send shivers down your spine. Okay, and because of my position, yeah. I took, I took there. I was, I was able to secure the heavy, and also because he missed, he missed his rail shots. I mean, we're quite tricky rail shots to land actually for him and for myself. We both kept missing each other in that kind of situation, but I still had the better situation, uh, the better positioning for that kind of situation. You know. The amount they're going. But to only because he missed his shots. The heavy gets taken, potential for an aggressive push. The rocket jump, Razy knows, I get stuck here, I'm done. Let's just not even yeah, bother yeah. risking it. Again, very okay, good decision to rocket rise, jump out of that. And then secure the mega. Of armor, and there's no inject. Razy did have to use that just to stay safe. Just to stay in a situation where we're not just going to get shredded here by a Kilson, especially if we get taken by surprise, because as we can see, ability central, we could be seeing that any minute, but... I feel like this situation is going to favor Kilson because that's how he obtained his nice first hit by him. Even now, Jaeger but I knew, rounds. I knew at this point, Mega and Heavy are, you know, very close to each other again to spawn. Forced off the item. So but actually, <laughs> this is the scariest part of the world. But yeah, I, I didn't understand this this kind of move. I mean, maybe he fucked up the Mega half timing or something. Um, I, I really, I didn't understand his his rocket jump at all. It's been forced off the item. I mean, look at this, look at the stacks, right? Like, look at look at the stacks. But actually, and now, like very soon, he's gonna gonna do his rocket jump, and I pick up the mega half. <laughs> this is the scary. I mean, look how much damage he actually did to himself. But actually, how much how much armor? Like 25, 30, 30, 31 armor gone, and also some some HP. Like yeah, another another twenty five. So he lost like what? Fifty five to sixty HP only because of doing that rocket jump. How he obtained his first frag. Even now, yeah, he got hit by a rail. And that after, up. after he picked up the heavy. Yeah, actually. So my stack oh, was actually, the... actually, in the end, quite similar to his. And uh, there was still time for him to get his inject ready. Yeah, 40, 40 is just, he's everywhere, man. He is fucking everywhere. And then I felt quite confident, uh, confident in uh, you know my LG being being better than his in this in this kind of fight. Scariest part of the world. Crazy knows that it could be now. Dedicates to the fight and dedicates to hard. I mean, even if and he would have well hit that ray shot, yes, I still would have survived with five us. HP. I mean, this is a stressful situation. And right? as and as you could hear, I was quite happy. It must have been like the first eight minutes. Like that was his map all the way through because yeah he wasn't the one that was in control but i don't think he cared about being in control and then in the blink of an eye those two frags in return just go boom done and then it's even and then it's sudden death it's like, yeah i'm i'm, I'm not yeah, sure was running rings <laughs> around it but i'm, well, I'm not sure real. he made him work for it it's been way. he didn't get a first frag for at least on the five minute mark at the bare minimum but it's just using nicks to the full degree he knew full well that there was a majority of the time where Kielsen just didn't have to start to contest much of it. He could contest a heavy short or made a mega from the nail area. But the problem is, with the anarchy as well, especially with that stack, it's very difficult to try and contend with on so many occasions. And you talk about how it just you know, escalated so quickly in that small margin. But luckily with that heavy machine gun, knowing that Kielsen I mean, still a couple, a couple of very good, uh, good decisions on both sides. Um, a few... <sighs> misreads. Like bigger misreads on 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 Razy's side, but he also he made made a couple of very very good decisions. Like you know with the heavy machine gun, of, uh, for example, pressure me uh, pressuring me that uh, that hard. I should have expected that kind of move, but I didn't. So it was also like, you know, 
not making me shine shine in the best light. The be there lurking. Ray to dive straight on in. Of course, this is the big fight, a huge game changing fight for Ray to tie this up and also get at Mega early on. But this was the final engagement here with that LG battle was kills and able to take him down, just relying on his uh, combat skills alone, and we know that he's one of the best here in terms of the competition with his combat skills anyway, and his tracking. And we're just going for the stats <laughs> at the moment. 46% rail, and we do have 47% with the LG. Not a lot of shots fired, mind you, but still good enough to put him down. I feel like we got such a wonderful example of what to expect from this series from that first map. It was a complete and utter dynamic. And honestly, we can't say we're surprised because of the champions they went in there with. Razy with the Anarchy was able to cycle around the map pieces in the middle but interesting okay. matchup in itself before we start into the next map time for a quick kills and break just from the champ <sighs> how long is two minutes uh, a quick one, like really quick one.
All right, we are back, chat. We are back. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not stressing myself anymore, you know. I mean, we made things work, don't we? Yeah, tough day. I've been in the city buying some stuff, you know, in the heat, like over 30 degrees running through the city. It's, it's not fun. It's, it's like hell on earth at the moment, really. And I know it's, it's in a lot of places right now like this. It's insane. It really is insane. <clears throat> All right, let's, let's hop into the second map. Champion picks alone as we're going to no, go straight on in here, not. Ryan, starting off from Kielsen's POV. Now an early fight has been landed, but really neither player having all the weapons to make this fight count, so we'll just take the early damage for Oh, that machine gun Kielsen was... Going around the other way what? and getting so much damage on Razy there. Looks like they both had a similar idea to push forward. Yeah, and in this yeah. Case, we, we absolutely had a similar idea here to, to push each other around the map. We're gonna take uh, and he took he took the better of it, you know, like I only have tribold L LG He has like a uh, ray gun uh, nail gun and machine gun at this point uh, I think also heavy machine gun, right? The opposite item from when we spawned and tell you what you don't see that every day No, I'm not gonna lie. You certainly don't it's but uh since he's down here. I knew he's not gonna have rockets A little bit of a shock to the system items are a little bit segregated, enough time to at least contest it nonetheless. Just yeah, okay, I did try to wear the belt, guys. You happy now? <laughs> no, and it's not like I, I tried. Like, uh, it actually fits. I can close it and it wears on me. Standing by as well. Only got LG in hand. Oh, Ooh. the rail, that was beautiful. Yeah, r r that rail shot was, was big, like, uh, he played that, like, really, really well. So now it was really risky for me to stay here at the heavy. Beautiful stuff from Racy. So I, uh, all I wanted to do some damage and then just back off and make sure to survive a ray shot. You get one more, but a Nazi tribolt there. It's ever gonna put him on all fours behind. And then, oh, that tribolt was so big. I didn't even realize like how much damage I just did with these two tribolt shots. And then does get a little bit more. That was huge, huge shots there coming out of Kilson. I was two tribolt shots and <laughs> almost crazy. Possibly by the rail of mine at that point. <laughs> oh, that is uh, scary stuff. And honestly, if that shows us anything in this opening 60 seconds, is that Kilson's lock on where Razy is on the map has been on point. But now this is the chance to start getting some important weapons. Kilson's had to be really careful because he hasn't had the Unholy Trinity. He hasn't even got a rocket launcher yet, and he'll know that more than anyone. Razy more than likely having an idea of that, hence the fact that he's sitting around this rocket location, you know, can keep Kilson nice, away from Nice rocket jump here. Look at that heavy at the same time. But once more, we're going to trade item for item. Oh, oh, the rail is actually... Yeah, he was, he was actually a little greedy here, taking the, the small armor first. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it totally bite him, bite him in the ass, right? He's going to be scarring off the map. See you later, Razy. And what a way to start off Deep Embrace. Kielsen is going to be pretty damn happy about that. Now got him pinned down on the LG, but Razy already trying to get away. What a way to start this map. God, I didn't know Quake was a golf simulator. But anyway, <laughs> it's already been just about two minutes here as Kielsen gets a... I mean, that's a, a wonderful first frag to get because really those ring outs... Kind of cheeky little frags, aren't they? They, they they'll uh, a little unlucky. I mean, the way the way he ran into into the room, and I was I was actually so ready for him to go for the armor. You haven't got to do as much work to get it. Would have been bang, so big to hit that ray shot. Reduce really. the damage you take. You can focus on the next item. Looks like right now, Kilson's actually holding fire. Maybe try and get some of that bonus damage Even first. Even that one rail didn't would have been smart, big. The idea was there. Kielsen, but now I knew. Okay, we yeah, most likely control. wants to the top armor. Down. So oh, I, I went for the push yet. because I also knew like my stack is a little bigger than his. And if I if I play it right, there's no way he's able to kill me. LG's really good, but not enough. And actually, I believe Razy must have run out of ammo there because he goes in for the super shotgun after doing a huge amount of fire. And that is unfortunate. Kilson takes a second frag and is looking very, very scary here, folks. Yeah, he certainly is. I kind of feel like now Kilson is in his comfort and again, zone. You can see the way he's uh, playing. Kind of same situation. I was so ready for it. And then... Uh, could have been like three big, big hits. 
and and like two more frags for to to my name at this point really acting to different scenarios and situations and even the rockets as well does a bit of damage with the pika there from razy but in the end does scarf it away megs up in the next 10 seconds and i like this from kills oh. obviously so good getting now heavily knowing that he can contest those, both those two ray shots were big ease. And Mega up is no way he's able to push for uh, for Mega now. So, so weak. He's got positional advantage, but I don't think he could be able to do too much with it. If Kilson just dives on in, then he's going to be some deep. I deep didn't want to take a lot of damage end, here, like that so that's Razy's why I was really careful to get about Jiggy it. Rail to do some chip and rail. maybe back away, but Razy does. And that raid also heavy, so back -back huge. Rails actually. coming out from Kilson, trying to look for the second, catches him with the LG. He's going to push a ball straight right here, Ryan. Will he be able to get him so then, close to be able to do it? He's got quite tricky here. Like if he would have hit that ray shot just just there. And even has has like uh, another shot on me. Uh, could have could have all been over actually. And the LG comes back out and does make it a 3-0 lead here for Kilson. That made was it not a clean fight. Uh, it was not a clean fight for me. The side, there's some rare misses on both ends. Oh, that Pika does connect though. The last minute, not able to fire around there. Razy wants to be able to stabilize so quickly and. To be honest, I can't blame him. Kilson's had a really nice hold on what Razy's doing on this oh, map. Oh, that, oh, that red shot. Out. But luckily, luckily, I weren't in control of anything at that moment. Only a 10 HP left. So it was okay-ish to one in return, drop buddy, out of the boy. map. Oh, dear. Two out of four ring outs here. Razy just trying to plant him with that shot. He does get the heavy in the circling around. Just barely misses that rail. Four minutes in. And Razy's on the warpath here, Ryan. As you can see, yeah. it's the first Oh, man. Oh. I mean, in this situation, sound was actually on the other side. That's that's why I still kept looking into that direction, guys. Like I I clearly heard him on on the other side here, trying to push me from the tribold. The wall path here, Ryan, as you can see, hits the first, looking for the second, if you can get round here. Finishing with the shotgun faction insurance, perfectly understandable, but is slowly creeping up on the scoreline here. Catching the LG again, but razy has got a much bigger stack in comparison. Uses I actually felt qu quite comfortable for, I, I, I don't know for what reason, but I, I, you know, I already felt like quite comfortable after first map about how I'm hitting and how he is hitting. So I knew um, I can deal a ton of damage actually. Um, and you know, kind of stop his momentum on the map a little bit. That was like my main goal. Like, okay, now, now I actually, I need to pull off like a good fight and deal as much damage as possible. I mean, look, uh, I have 125, he has 150, 100, I mean, 250 versus 125 stack, right? Like I, I have half his stack. Really creeping up on the scoreline here. Catch the LG and look again, how, how much damage much I did. He has 30 HP left. And uses the Pika just in case. Obvious got caught with his trousers down with Kilson circling the round, but still takes him out here. It was a good choice from Razy. I know Razy was opting to get some weapons and push forward anyway, but just going in with that Pika knowing that the Mega was there, if I took way too much damage to the point where I have to be nervous, at least I've got a Mega to kind of stop that instantly. So in some ways, maybe a free Pika attempt, able to win that fight on Kilson and the confidence was there. Three apiece now, which is about hit that halfway point. So. It's been an interesting exchange so far. And yeah, very good God, rocket here. These rockets have just been incredible from Kilson all series long. There goes another one. And they'll make that four to three. So he doesn't need eight items for Razy, nine for Kilson. It's been very close in the items and the lights department anyway. Good first rail there from Kilson. Good second one. Will he be able to get the first? Oh, uh, and then this the here happens, guys. I mean, we, we just had that sound sound situation happening, but here you can see how much I have been one with, in just just one with the environment. I mean, I didn't rage about it at all, you know. Like, yeah, the one time sound fucked me a little. And, the and now anyway, this good one. First rail there from Kyoso, good second one. Will and I click the sh I click to shoot, and the game changes my weapon. You better get the third. And I was like, oh, come on. As Razy just barely managed to get away, but how? But I didn't, I didn't, I just didn't rage about it. I, I, I didn't care about it any, anymore. Day, I, I was ready to seven. take it, you know? I was just the ready to take it. Rocket as well. Doesn't do the falling but does enough damage. Ooh. And he cleans I'm, I'm not away. sure why he pushed this deep here in that situation, um, but I was happy about it, you know? 
with the combo off the rail from Kilsen. This map has just changed on its head again. Yeah. First rail once more, almost Very hits good the rail there. Now if you want to talk about respect, look Yeah, at I wanted to go real quick to the Mega Half, but now I got stuck a little on, on that, you know, thingy. Uh, stopped my momentum a bit, and now I couldn't push uh, Mega as, uh, as as hard as I wanted to. At the second to last frag that we saw right here. But then hitting that rail, big bonus. In the center point of the map where Kilson was in the opposite direction. And Razy actually totally scared row, so to do anything about it. To just fish and now I uh, run out of rail. I missed that shot Come at close range. Razy's just spawned near LG. That miss is going to be punishing more than anything, and it wasn't worth the risk. So many people would have just wanted to jump in and go for that, but Kilson knows what's on the line here. I know that I've got time to work with. I just took the lead. Oh, I'm about to take the lead, excuse me. And there's just no... And now, I, I mean, I knew again he needs armor. Calculated all the way. So I tried, yeah, maybe hit a rail would be, would be great, Some actually. Was rewarded. Kilson just found the frag later, is now in a great position. The control over the map's pretty damn good. And so is the basic stack. You know, let's not forget, this is light versus medium. But with how much armor Kilson's been able to control, you wouldn't believe it. it. It almost doesn't even feel like it matters. All that matters now is that Kilson has a smaller hitbox. That yeah, is two very good rockets here, Two good rockets actually. there from Kilson to... And I could have pushed him even right. harder here at this moment, but I didn't want to lose my position actually because I would have risked uh, the uh, the heavy actually that is spawning very shortly. It's been up for some time now. Heavy's also. So I kept things very calm here. I love it. Right to push him a little different. Nice feature by him, but still my rocket placement was good. And now what's he going to do enough to finish And now I didn't care about Mega Half gone. I mean, I still have the heavy right. And even the small, uh, small armor. Again, perfectly understand where once we stacked up as now, quickly as possible. Now, just need to reset a bit. Go for very good rail, very important. Rail gets all, uh, to get a already kind of one, uh, one so meter situation, that one rail hit. And punish him for it, especially so. from the high ground, but it has managed to back away. But Kielsen keeping tabs on the man at the moment. Always keeping an eye on the, on the rail area, the because that's the weapon he surely wants. To pick up there. Like Kielsen really, really soon. One up top, so a fair assumption as to where Raze is going to be afterwards. Uh, can't be too aggressive. Building up that stack is always going to be that number one goal. And speaking of which, Pika shut down. That's not going to be a free jump pad, though, and Razy knows it. We're going to be safe, we're going to take the Mega, and we're going to plan our next attack. But ooh, right, right. threading the needle and, and then a one. second to was punish. Big. And I was only able to do it because I kind of denied the rain well. of him barely moved his, his a little earlier. And Hit both of those shots. So I took like full advantage of that. Him with his down, just barely misses that one rail. Yo, thanks, Frederick. Thank you very much, man. The heavy, but he's got a much bigger stack advantage. Hey, hey anyway, I own so you, by, by the way. This, hits the first one. Will you be able to catch yeah. him here? Yeah, oh, very good rail. Just, on just once again. Davis. That was the kill shot. Jog. It was. It certainly was indeed. But it does come out with a peek. It takes that out. But just keeping his control. And Razy realized that as he's going to jump at kills, he was still there. Just, just rocket himself back away. But I'm liking this choice. Again, we know that the Mega is up, but for these two, that is not the most important pickup. It is consistent. Very good rocket this placement heavy. here. Razy tries to go for it, but kills him one step ahead. Was ready for that one. Me, you know, one me, one me that fight. Yeah, the LG is pretty damn good, but hang on a minute. Oh. Still kills and just punished it. Razy fresh off sport. Man, look, he has what? Three, five HP left, and then uh, I have only four cells left. Yeah, the LG is pretty damn good, but hang on a minute. Still and the weapon change the cost me damage, so much time, it almost made me die. But <sighs> luckily, I was able to, you know, lucky still make it happen. Did, or were a massive help in hand. Heavy's up in seven seconds. Kilson just, again, biding his time. He's got a minute and a half to wait until to try and hold on to this five. Th that was lead. quite an interesting, like, it really, it wasn't a bad move, move at all by him. To skip the heavy at that point, because he knew how how hard I'm screaming and how weak I am. So Razy actually did make the right decision here to push me push me with with the machine gun to be fair. Razy of course well aware of this and needs to be as aggressive as physically possible with these rockets. But now I mean my rockets were just superb in, in that situation. Like this this first rocket uh yeah, I mean, look, look at his sec, 150. And what, what, what he has left, 52. So it was like a full face rocket. About to take him out with the machine gun. Oh my god, if I hit, I... and then another one to finish him off. A little lucky, uh, actually, but uh, yeah, just great rocket placement uh, to defend myself. Oh, there. It in the end. So I mean, in, in the end, it's still the only the machine Razy's gun, only right? calling GG, and yeah, I think that was pretty much done and dusted from there. But Kilson, 
We know he's known for his rails for a reason, just look at the items and everything like that. But the accuracy from both players with the rail was actually quite close. But of course, kills and firing more shots. It's uh, a better median overall. But yeah, what a way. That second map played out entirely different compared to Woken, but Okay, let's see uh, the match set. I mean, again, quite a good LG overall. Um, rail, yeah, mid 40s. Oh, we've seen that actually quite often. There were rarely, uh, rarely games uh, with 60, 70 percent rail. Actually, um, only happened a few times for some. Uh, yeah, but overall, you know, like consistent hitting, like really, and it helped me a lot. Do you have mouse wheel up LG and wheel down rocket? No, I don't. Core, I don't. I have LG on Q and I have rockets on space. I don't have uh, any mouse binded to my, you know, to scroll wheel up or down. The only way I use my scroll wheel is like pushing it. Um, that's my rail bind. So, so consuming the mental capacity and the energy and the thought process you've got to put in at this level. It, you know, I wouldn't put it on my worst enemy, but the thing is that at this point, they realize that Ray just wants to crack on, and if whatever happens in this series, and he does or may possibly drop down I mean, to losers, do we, that way, do we really need to go through the M6? Even if it's just one minute or two, I, I feel like we don't have uh, to, to, to be fair. If you're just joining us, like the matchup uh, itself explains a lot on its own already. Currently 2 0 in this best of five. We'll be going onto Blood Covenant next and this will be Why a did you got the cha uh, weapon change then? Because sometimes in, uh, it happens in Quake Champions. Uh, two champions with, that the game uh, changes your weapon. Speed or mobility. For I no reason. A little bit of a mo mobility from the Doom, don't get me wrong. But a good example was the Galena versus Bison matchup we had. Uh, it's it's actually, Grom, you know, this, this DM6 is not the finals DM6, you know. We are only in the winner bracket game. So... I heard rumor that Rafa will leave Quake and the QPL, is that true? I don't know about anything, Atari. I mean, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, <sighs> practicing for this finals. I had nothing in my life being so mental than this one. Like, like really. Yo, RxG, thank you, man. Vielen, vielen Dank, man. Dankeschön. Like, really. I I never... Never had a harder time in my life. Like, those three weeks practicing for, for finals, it, it was rough. It, it was, it was really, really rough. And I'm I'm just glad to to have make it work somehow, you know. It was zero zero for nearly twenty one. Okay, and let's, either. let's just browse a little through it. And the repositioning makes those mid air. But yeah, so I mean, he played he played to played to doom Actually, like the double the jump, very good. Uh, yeah, the and just of it, trying to get four frags in this map. Can yeah, be quite brutal, but he, he didn't let me do a, do a lot on the map, or a slash actually. Or anything like that. So, so hopefully for his sake, it's he was always ready too much of a concern comparison to for me to approach. Picks, which you'd have to face if he was down by Yo, Deacon, thank you, man. Thank you very much. By four frags, but it depends Thanks how a lot. methodical Razy wants to play this out. Says, if he does miss that last rail, Rocket does come in, but he does hit the first. Look and see if he can try and re-peak, but in the end... Still looking for that second shot. Look and see if he can find him. Will he be able to? Doesn't manage to hit it, but Kilson does. Good, good, good rail shot, but he immediately takes like a defensive position. And then with Doom, you know, able to control uh, the mid part. However you want, most most likely. Um, that was was a really, really tough matchup. But yeah, I mean, that's that's Doom. Doom versus Galena, right? I mean, you you got to bet on, on, on over here. That on, only that could have could have made a difference, but it, it it didn't even need to make a difference because I feel like the mobility is worth a little more um, on this kind of map, you know. So, yo, Iziki, yeah, I uh, I just made it again, man. 
How are we doing? Yours, <laughs> Snowmelt. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Oh, really? Did you? Oh my gosh, man. Slow down a little. It's it's too early for that for you, Mo, uh, bro. It really is. I mean, it doesn't happen for no reason, you know. I think if I would it if if I needed needed to keep practicing like two or three more weeks. Who knows where where I would have land. Because uh, you know, like uh getting getting my mind ready to practice every single day. I woke up and my blood pressure was already on nineties. And it's 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 no joke. Like it was somewhere between nineties and one hundreds. And that's 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 how I've been starting my days uh before the tournament, you know? Like practicing. It was rough. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Pepco. That's true. Oh really? You did? Uh yeah yeah when when it, when it was out I played it for a bit, but I didn't do so in a while. Again, just hold him back. And now with two minutes and four frags. To yeah, go. but but this this map also you know since it was the best of five. I mean we we talked a little earlier about the picks picks and bans right. So it kind of was a bit of a sacrifice. I mean maybe I could have could have made Doom versus Visor work. Um. But who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But I did. I didn't. I didn't want to give him his his comfort pick visor. Actually, that was like my main thinking. Um, and also with picking Galena while banning visor, uh, I also removed Galena from the champions pool for for this best of five. You know. Uh, no, I. Uh, I I rarely do. I rarely do. But you gotta, you know, it, it's very important to keep hydrated overall. Oh, Kilson, bit of a juggle. The mega does get picked up though, and Kilson not particularly healthy. Yeah, this no, he just change. keeps Kilsen running. I mean, this this map really. I mean, was was like a total sacrifice. Even I've been hitting quite well, but uh, still, it it was so tough to catch up. So he played it. Really, like almost to perfection. The positions he put himself in, there was just nothing Kilson could do to claw back. But just looking at the percentages and the damage at the moment, 55% for Razy, and on the other side, 50% for Kilson. 53% LG, even though he didn't do much damage, still pretty damn good anyway. But the rocket damage, not really much there. But I think it's more due to the fact that he was the aggressive with the rockets than the majority of that. And Razy was just daring him to come on forward. It was uh, just a tough task at hand. But Going into the fourth map here, we yeah. be corrupt to keep. Oh, uh, be why keep do I mute myself <laughs> when I start talking? <laughs> 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 oh my god! Oh my, oh my god, Chad! I need to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, but but I, what, what what I was just just about to say was that I'm actually uh, today I'm I'm like super tired, you know, like uh, running through through the city while it's being like thirty plus degrees outside. It really it's 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 no, it's no fun. So I was actually before before I even started to stream, I'm I was actually quite sure already that I'm not gonna gonna make it. Um, that we managed to go through all the matches today. Like there, there's no way. And like how much more more maps it is. Uh, we have three more maps uh, versus Maxter, and then we have like uh, six more maps played uh, versus versus Razy. I mean. No, no way! I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make it, you know. So uh, we, we will actually uh, do three parts of this recap. Um, we will see how I feel when, when this map is done. Um, how I feel after that one. Um, if we do the matchup with Maxo also right after, 
Um, but if not, we're gonna finish tomorrow with the matchup, you know, versus Maxa first, the winner bracket final, and then the grand final. So I, I actually needed a little boost, uh, you know, having having like a cool Red Bull just to chill. It's upon a time here, Ryan, but we'll have to see exactly how that's going to turn. And we'll see the eyes and BJ pick. Pretty standard, pretty meta, pretty much what we normally see. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm glad, the I'm glad, I'm glad you like you like it. I was I was worried a little bit that you maybe don't like that I'm you know, spreading it a little, uh, into, you know, yeah, just, just, just more widely, you know? So, uh, but, but I'm glad, I mean, that you telling me that you, you like it, even if it takes a bit of time. Um, that's actually great to know, you know, like, uh, really, I'm, I, I still haven't fully recovered from, from, you know, all the traveling and, and everything. So I, uh, yeah, I mean, for for me, it kind of is, you know, like I I really wanna wanna do it with you and as quickly and and a, as good as I can, you know, but uh, uh, yeah, I kind of also feel like at some point if I feel too tired, uh, you know, even my commentary is is not gonna be as as voluble anymore. So uh, yeah, but we will see. Let's let's hop into this last map a bit of, of, a question of the set. How Little Timmy's gonna try and perform but maybe it's not the last map. I'm I'm not here to spoil a spoiler or anything, you know. We have a no Who knows? We'll maybe we're gonna to hop onto ruins, scale versus Sonic. Shows, anything can happen. Again, an opportunity to change things. I didn't up say a anything. Significant amount because it's a different kind of map. You know, the Blood Covenant is more about your traditional. It's about the range, so rail heavy it can be. And I also bought myself today a new phone, so. Uh, I'm kind of kind of hyped to test it, but I actually didn't have time so far to set it up. Damage. Great, but <laughs> no point really talking. Like, about can you that imagine? We're about to jump into the keep, which is so different. There ain't no rail. Things are a lot smaller, a lot more combat heavy. And Kilson, if there's one thing that's always on point, it's going to be that I, everything. Is I have a phone laying here, and I didn't have time to test it so far. <laughs> the keep coming on. This is a good opportunity to kind of you know seal the fate a little bit. Razy, as you quite rightly said, you know, back in like 2017, 2018. Normally, Razy's I'm always like very hyped if I have like some kind of new stuff, you know, on this map. But as time Thanks, on, tri Trivium. Uh, trium. To just kind of get more Thank you very much. I mean, they'd better be familiar with it. It's been in the game for years, but it's quite a favorite, and it's been a favorite uh, this weekend for sure. He yeah, it has had been. to I do think this. It just comes down to the core fundamentals and mechanics, really, doesn't it? In terms of uh, how he hates to do this. Oh, it's a bit of a hero machine. Wie halte ich was aus? We've been seeing a lot of Strock actually. What's uh, going genau? on? And it's funny not to see it. Ah, so, with the handy. Of course, the Strock was selected. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's not really that deep. It's not really that deep. It's just a handy, right? Come up against the slash. So there's been interesting. Stream is more important than a smartphone, right, Chad? As he does claw back by one map, but it's still two one in the series for Kilson. If you're just joining us here in the first best of five of the day, and now at the moment we're going to be kicking things off from Razor's POV here, Ryan, to see exactly what he's getting. Yeah, I mean you you can already tell like Razor's main main plan here is try to keep me a little away of of lightning gun or make me eat a lot of damage for it. There's a clear choice behind that's that's why why he's sticking close to the to the lg and here he already did like the first uh 60 damage and how we're going to be playing this map and i think kilson's proving that with the bj pick razy had eliminated the death knight from the pool and that is a champion that kilson's really good with especially on a map like this where it's all about damage i can't pick death knight i'm going to go for what i must see is the next best thing and it's going to be bj but this is the extra dynamic folks and these best of fives oh dead rocket so huge actually so huge Yo, Buxer, thank you, man. Thanks for the host. I hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing great. Yo, Asma, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Appreciate. Hope you had a good stream, Buxer. Who uh who won the tournament? Uh no, the cup. It wasn't a tournament, just a cup. Like who won and who played in the fi final? Like I, I didn't follow at all because for me it was quite um Quite confusing that today is a Stody Cup. Usually it's on Fridays, right? If I'm not mistaken. Zen versus Buxer. Man, how can Zenaku play already again? 
He's insane. Yo, JTV. Thank you, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the for the info, CLE. Man. I I you know like I, I was sure after after finals that I'm not gonna gonna touch the game for a while to play. Um but I can't even motivate myself uh, myself at, at this moment to play anything else like the last couple of days. On Monday, I tried to play a little bit Apex, actually. Or was it on Tuesday? No, it was Monday, I think. But uh, it was actually rough to get me up even to, to play anything at all, you know. Because I've been grinding so much and been playing so much. Uh, it's it's really, it's it's time for a little rest, you know. Like with the bands and the picks and everything else, you reach a point where you start. Very good damage, very good push. But and that, that defensive rocket was was yeah, big, like once again, like throughout all of the series, the my rockets have been shining a lot. <gasps> now, I mean, very good lift here by me. Um, like my stack was in, compared to his stack. I mean, I mean, look at this, right? Look at my my HP. Look at look at my stack. Look at his stack. On the planet. I managed to to take only a single HP they bubble down there. Oh, okay, then a little later I took the second, so I I had like twenty five uh, stack, while he had uh, what one hundred fifty. So once again, you know, I only had half the stack, because, you know, at this and was play, was able to pull out like so much planet. damage actually. They know how to play every champion. Oh, but in he almost yeah, even died, you know. He certainly do. I was a little bit razy, even though he had the stack just to... But now, for me, it was actually good to know. So I was even able to pressure him a little up, bit with uh, just the machine gun. Just keep it by the turret. So secure the course, heavy, it's not just by the info. And he the... was he was still, like, he still had, like, the tactics of, okay, I will try to keep him away off lightning gun. And if he gets it, I, uh, you know, need to do as much damage as possible and take advantage of my position. Keep on spawning the turret. It's just dividing that attention to try and keep your opponent, you know, delaying in terms of the amount of damage he can do to you compared to what a turret would do as that shield process also. But Razy, has got a lot of armor to his name. Realizes that he's going to try and go for this light, but kills him already shield. in position. And he's got the height, as you rightly mentioned. And Razy just looking to try and recover, but Kilson is just saying, no, no, you're not allowed. What an amazing position from Kilson too, where like, you want to get some armor, I'm going to literally sit here and look at both of them. So what are you going to do from here? Uh, there's a reason Kilson, yeah, the items are up, but Kilson is just eyeing up where Razy has been waiting, because at the, oh no! Tries to go for the rocket jump to gain the speed, but actually misses it completely. Oh, is it getting first? Oh, that's a huge shame. That is a rare, rare was okay, actually, that he actually, picked the heavy. Now the small mic, armor. So I still had stack advantage, sort of <laughs> but I like the weapon. But that tribal damage that rocket jump. I mean, kind of destroyed reason, like, like all my work. Play, I just did, to be fair. You know, give him so great decision by Razy. We'll probably be able to do it, but it always happens in tournament, doesn't it? It certainly does. It's just a massive, oh no. And now, like, now oh. I, was, I was trying to position myself in, in not, not a major position, so... He can't track uh, track my position that well anymore, so that's why 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 I was uh, you know like walking down there. No, as well. Like just thinking, oh dear, like in terms of what he was planning to do at the time, and now didn't punish him too up. hard though. He has no. given up. He has given up a huge element of control. So I guess you could call that punishing, but hasn't cost him a frag just yet. Yeah, just just it's a bit of damage. I mean, why not? So if he gets enough opening damage there on Razy to undo the utility of that old heavy. There's still a chance for Kilson to bring this one. Hasn't had to use the dual wield yet. Bit of rocket so damage, just the chip damage, you know. Down where it's more and more, die, has it's not good. Reared its head just yet. A little lucky on that pickup that I didn't take any any rocket damage at all, actually. Hey, Mooney, thank you, man. Thanks a lot. How are we doing, man? And a relatively low scoring game on a map like Corrupted Keep so far, but I think it goes to show just how much care and caution is being put into this match. Three minutes are down, dual wield, prepared for Kilson. Could this be the moment? Oh, the coming out for both players, but Kilton yeah, good, looking worse good, off good at the moment. Still by trying to at least deny this heavy, but he and has to get away. And now for me, it was all about surviving. Range, or deep damage. I did a little more damage, situation earlier. but it, it did really it wasn't I know it's enough at all. Your neck of the woods here, Ryan, so great like control by Razy so far here. Down with the LG to see if we can take him out again, but the shortgun. But then his weapon switch actually cost him too much time. 
Um, and because of that, uh, it allowed me to to finish him. I'm not sure how much. Like at this point here, just trying to hold down with the LG to see if he can take him out. Oh, okay, I see. He actually was scared to not have enough uh, LG ammunition, but he would have. So the weapon switch actually uh, won me the fight here. Yosef, thank you. Thanks, man. Now again, but the shotgun. Kilson does take him down. Interesting. I was mean, so weird. That's such a shame. Kilson, I've been watching this through his point of view, had to pop the safety dual wield fresh off the spawn in the old gun room where it's kind of common that you get rushed there. It was really smart from Kilson to go, now nah, I'm going to pull out two of these starting machine guns, man. Mega's about to spawn. He might rush me. I just, I need, I need these two guns, man. I need these two guns. I, all I had to <laughs> do now do damage and maybe Kilsen. even make him not being able to, well. able to pick up the, shotgun, pick up the Mega, to which it. I did. As much but now I didn't have any, any armor left. Like I was like able to luckily to take the lower green. Sometimes the spray just is not in your but favor. No, upper green is kind of lost. So for me, it was all about the heavy now. You know, take early position on it and try to fend as well as possible. And that face rocket actually it was so big, but it was so lucky at the same time. I, you know, never expected that rocket to hit me. Especially, I mean, look after his rocket, how much I flew, I flew like backwards. I, I was, I was kind of saying, okay, I, yeah, I'm going to jump out the map now. Oh no, the LG actually, how much it made me push. Like he hit me, he hit me. Yeah, that, that was another of these moments. I mean, you know, what, what we had happened so far. Uh... Auto weapon switch in one situation. Um, sound being a little wrong on on deep. And it's now like this gun. one, you know, like he hit me for 30 LG, LG damage. And look how much I'm flying backwards. In the middle that can give you a little bit more reliability, but spreads the spread, innit? I mean, look, I'm literally flying like 20 meters. And he only hit me for 30 damage. I mean, how many ticks is that? It's five ticks. And it only went like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That is right. It does. Ooh, then I, I was already saying goodbye that then that, that rocket happened. It was so big, actually. Like, like really. So lucky. I, you, you don't see how much I'm flying back. What's here? Spreads the spread, innit? I mean, look, I, I, I even flew up the wall. You have that guaranteed like, look shot at in the middle that can give you a little bit more reliability, but spreads the spread, innit? I was almost, almost being pushed so much that I flew outside the map there. Over the wall. By only five ticks of LG. Which on, on, on Razy's POV sounds like, you know, boop, boop, boop. Oh, did I? You have that guaranteed shot in the middle that can give Wait, you a little let me, more let me, let me check again. Spreads the spread, innit? Oh yeah, I rocketed the, the, the pillar. Wow, how did that happen? No, no, the, the turret wasn't ready that moment. It was starting to aim at me, but it wasn't ready. But yeah, I actually shot, shot this thing here. It boosted me backwards. And that's why he also only was able to deal 30 damage on me. Oh man, I was... That is I was I was not the luckiest person there in that situation. Yeah, I I was like oh oh my god like what is going on here really just just how I've been right now like really the sa same amount of of being being confused really. I I can actually remember how I felt about this. I was like oh my god like what is going on now and now I hit myself even I'm gonna die here, and then I shoot that rocket right into his face. And I was like, like oh that, that my god. Rocket. Okay, so Razy now wasn't looking as strong in terms of stack even after that heavy, but of course with those bubbles being up in the red room, pretty much almost back to base stack. Got the mega also. This is looking... Yeah, I mean, of course, I couldn't contest for items for because I was so weak now. Again, he doesn't want to be lurking around too much, play that range game, but... But at least I got the lower green again, so that's thing. actually Four big. Out of that kind of situation, you know, keeping the score as close as possible. 
And now Kielsen looking to see what route to take to try and get away from that scenario. Heavy is up, has been picked up here by Razy. And this is where I'm going to get a little bit worried. He has the timings here and can now also contest both of these items. Trying to back <laughs> away. Still does it. And in the end, we're about to get to the Mega Tommy. Does not. Kills and gets it, but look yeah, at the damage. He took it right. That's going to be a fair frag for really big damage. Overcommits to the escape. I, I had a good start and a good idea and that about that situation. LG for any of these players. The aggressive no. push. And then this There's one. The rocket and I was like, okay, I have I have to try something now. Off spawn to, uh, to stop him from uh, taking the heavy that easily you know and then he had such a such a beautiful air rocket really it was it was it was was, was great shot one I can't say any Quite anything good. different yeah, there weak, sure, really it was great this has been a, a pretty decent affair for Razy so far but this is but now because i made him weak actually or the situation made him made him be weak um i was able to secure the heavy and be ready for the main just equalize just a little bit make things happen begin oh wow oh my lord Quite okay. sure what that was. Razy right as the turret was getting dropped. I think the pure definition of maybe getting caught. Then could he hear him? Could he not hear him perhaps? Good damage with the machine gun as well, considering the position he was in. He just didn't realize that Kyoso was just gonna have his back turned in that kind of scenario. And I was gonna try to get Yeah, he uh, uh, didn't like realize that Kyoso was just gonna have his back Why is Razy even pushing pushing this deep on the heavy here? With nothing but machine gun and shotgun. Kind of I, I didn't understand and then I was like okay yeah sure I take it I will use my dual wield and take as less damage as I need to oh yeah and I was gonna try to get away again but the dual world the LG it's so punishing and you saw it right there and then unlucky for Amazing, but Kilson now only oh, training yeah, behind. No, by no, one I'm just ready here, again. Ryan, as he's coming up with the LG. But that heavy machine gun was actually also trying huge. to retaliate with the same amount really of was. aggression. So up on the hourglasses cliff, and you can see now Kilson looking to back away towards the red room. That dual wield LG was the purest example of why BJ's ability is just so good. And perfectly executed there from Kilson. You know, look at you. You're general director. I mean, I knew he's not going to have rockets yet, so that's why I pushed uh, the way I did. And you're gone. He tried to deal as much damage as possible with the tribal, but I was I was aware of it and dodged it quite well. For the BJ play, but as we now jump in, heavy. Kilson in doing this, and there's the rocket jump we were looking for. We're starting to get more warmed up and we're starting to get more comfortable. Kilson's got plenty of time to equalize this, and if he can keep this map control, and even there, catching Razy off the teleporter. I wonder if Razy assumed perhaps he was going to be near Mega, waiting to pick it up, but that is not what Kilson wants. Kilson wants death. He wants it now. There's the dual wield. Oh, good lord. And the shotgun should do it. And it will do. It's not looking too good here for Razy as Kilson has picked up a mega. Heavy is up, though. Does manage to steal it away. Yeah, but it didn't mean a lot, actually, that he stole the heavy here because Razy in this position, he still, he still needs, like, all the weapons right now, right? And uh, while I still uh, have all the weapons and also, I think, like, top armor is up. Three minutes left though, but he hasn't got really any weapons in his arsenal. Yeah, top armor was still up, so you know the top armor actually allowed me to get to be ready again or to feel ready again uh, with all my weapons I had to to my name. Um, just no rockets anymore at this point. Um, you know, defending the mega health. Also to try and contend good heavy machine gun damage here. Continue this bout against Ray, uh, good sorry, catch. Against but in the end, it does have to. But then his good heavy heavy it's machine just, gun just by him. Back in a way slowly. Just well, waiting well, for him to come uh, to. Towards top mid. Well Mid's decided. Up in the next five seconds, though. Does catch him. Almost takes him out. And in the end, picks up the health bubble. Goes towards the red room. He could go for the mega himself instead, which is going to definitely be a viable option. Kilson would rather have the heavy And now, you know, I just split because of how Razy decided the situation to be played. Razy just going backwards and forwards and just trying to but change his But I knew he's, he's low on armor now. So he needs Kielsen something. Yes, that's, that's why I kept staying here for a bit. If See Kielsen if he wants to do something. Damage, that dual wield is going to be a death sentence. And now it's getting That's closer to the heavy ammo again. So to. I took away that I think there's a reason Razy hasn't been but great rocket here by Razy. pressing Kilson too much because oh. that dual wield... And always, you know, kill the turret quick. So the turret is not able to do a lot of damage on you. You know, maybe there's a moment even you forget about the position of the turret. And then, uh, you know, re you run into it. And it deals so much damage for, for no effort, you know. So, if you have the chance to, to kill it, kill it. Wield is something that is just going to be so scary, especially, remember, folks, we're on land and everything Everything feels a lot... No, I, I think it's only because I I, uh, I didn't play well 
uh, when playing against Thunder King. While well, Thunder King also at the same t time played really well. And I weren't, weren't playing like well enough um, to overcome Dana King. I think it has a little to do with that. Whisper. Um, some players have had some wonderful LG this weekend as a uh, consequence of that. But we're now entering the final two minutes and there's so much riding on this one map. This is either going to be the final map, the one that sends Kilsen forward in this bracket or the opportunity for Razy to keep. Yeah, I, I, you know, I just wanted wanted to make sure to do some damage when he picks up the armor, which I did here Things in that situation. Bring us into a final map of which I got to say a lot of people were predicting it to be a final map situation. And now situation I'm actually legends. pressure him a and little more. That turret did help him though. Kilsen. But yeah, I mean, that, this this next level rocket dodge, dodge, like I was actually quite sure it could have also hit me. If it only would have been like one nanometer more to, uh, you know, to the right from my POV. Uh, I mean, look, look at the rocket. It's flying right on me. Against each other. Kill, sir. But I made it work. Oh, I was so happy about that not being a hit. Really. <laughs> it's difficult. It's difficult to ask, don't get me wrong. Um, you can see in Razy's situation as well. He wasn't. Pe uh, yeah, like I actually didn't want to give want to give up like any any item here in that kind of situation, but I tried to pressure him. He didn't make make a lot of moves, uh, so like he played it really really well in that situation, and uh, made it work for him and waited long enough, so uh, yeah, that I I had to allow him to go for one one of the items, you know re-peaking or pushing out or anything like that due to the fact that you needed to get some defensive now some damage, damage again first, i was like it, okay if he gets heavy at no least do some damage so the overstack is gone comes out here and kills are just a little bit surprised by that <sighs> no way man it? like <sighs> this this was actually that that he pushed in here so deep was really surprising like uh, i didn't expect it at all i mean you can always you can always kind of expect it but uh these these kind of pushes are are not a crazy thing, you know. So uh, he really surprised me, but I was still in in a quite comfortable position with with how my stack was, and because my heavy machine gun hit him so well, um, you know how his stack is. So even even the late uh the late AG switch here from me, um, put uh, put enough pressure onto him that he got scared away actually. But in the end, the LG comes out here and kills him. I mean, I mean, look, with, without that armor, I think the stacks were were still quite similar. Even he had like two seconds in front of me shooting at me. A little bit so, surprised uh, by that. Must do enough damage for Razy. I'm not to sure try. if it was a bit of luck, if if it was a bit of hesitation on his side. Um, I I I don't know. Hard hard to tell. But my counter LG was actually quite quite well at the end there, and it it pushed him away quite hard. Another good heavy machine gun. He's straight for the mega. He's dropped down. He's stuck in the LG, and you can see Kilsen with the heavy machine gun trying to bait him out with the rocket. He's got the LG back again. He's not going to push forward. Doesn't need to. He's in a great spot. He can just wait for this mega. He's now coming forward, and he should be able to get this with ease. Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to. I mean, I could have tried to push through the teleporter, but I really, I, I didn't, didn't want to because. Would have been a very risky move. Like you know, he could have stayed there, be ready with super shotgun or anything, and and just finish me. You know, like 160 stack. That's not a lot, right? And there was also a turret to his side, so I was actually really scared to go through the teleporter, and and rather, uh, you know, went the safe route. I mean, maybe some other players would have decided to go through the teleporter, pop the dual wield, um, and yeah, try try to punish his position. But never forget about the turret, you know, it's also also going to shoot at you and things can be over really, really quick. A little bit of damage actually from the nail, so it may... So I tried to do just, just a little more damage. Enough. But he had some good nail gun spam here at uh, at that moment, so uh, I actually had to change plans. So I had They're to go back to the, to the heavy at this point. At bay, but at this point now, the stacks are so similar, because they had to back yeah, off. Yeah, also, Ooh, also that, so right. to go. Absolutely right. And I, for sure, with 160 HP only, pushing into a turret and your opponent is gonna, you know, even if you manage to win, uh, if you manage to win that kind of fight, um, you're gonna left low. So, and your opponent spawns on heavy, 
has the 120 HP, has two uh, 150 armor. Um, I mean, even with just a machine gun, that's that's super dangerous to have, right? So, in the end, I, I really I, ma I made a very good decision here to not to not push through the teleporter. Yo, thanks Avalanche and uh, Lick White Styles. Thank you, thank you guys. It's amount of LG ammo, but I do wield and all that armor. Kilson, if he has the right. And now it's all about getting getting the control crazy. over oh, your opponent. Good and here I was like, oh no, is he, is he really going to take the jump pad? Is he really going to take the jump pad? If he catches yes, he is. But he also hit like the perfect counter rocket to it. Like, oh man, I couldn't believe really. Crazy. Oh, ah. that's a lot of damage. I was like, okay, some free damage, sure. I take it, we'll but then the uh, I also ate the rocket. So. Razor, use the turret just to get the information in case we go the other way. And the dual wheel has been activated. Yeah, rockets, rockets here. here. Yeah, that was actually insane. Like, I didn't, I didn't realize I run low, low on rockets here. Um, having rockets to to my hand could have actually end the map already at at this point. You know, like just hit hit one little good rocket that pushes your opponent away to the, to one side already um and then just hit another or some lg because you bounce your opponent um and it would have been over but i didn't realize i ran out of rockets and then i only had lg left and in that that kind of pos position raises in um it's actually the better position to fight uh, to fight in than in the position i have been because i'm much i'm much more visible on the top wall then he is behind behind that tiny mega half wall you know turret, just like i will show you again the other way like just the tiny wall he's staying behind you know he can he can still look above it but all i have as a hitbox is actually his head you can see right in front here right and while i'm i'm going here all the way on the side i you know he can see like my entire body he can see my hip even even the top of my of my legs actually in that kind of situation while i can only aim at his head so for me it's quite more difficult like much more difficult um to to track him down why he has a much easier time to do so so that's also why he you know why he did so much damage here in that the kind of situation so i was i was actually happy to you know get a get a life uh get get out here alive here comes because that could have meant end but I think he also ran out of rockets a little earlier. Damage, but oh my god, so much in return. How did that happen? I can't believe it. Kills and has picked up the heavy, so he's going to keep us alive. But look at the damage. Oh raises, man, dude. even I picked up the heavy. He did so much damage here with the mach heavy machine gun. Uh, there's nothing left of the heavy, actually. Still, he knows how weak oh. he is, but the problem is now <clears throat> the stacks are almost equal again. We're going to go to another sudden death, it looks But anyway, like. I still have top position, so I can reset with the small armor now. And then let's see what's gonna happen uh, on the mega. Second one of the. But that's also why he now he did use his turret to not take any kind of damage at uh, when picking up the mega half. So smart, very smart decision by Razi. He's second in the first match as well. So but I need to Razi's need to take care about the turret. The like, there's no other mega way around. And now he takes up at the his moment, defen so defensive stance again. You know, hiding behind that the wall. Only show your head a little. And uh, yeah, while well, I have to peek over over the ledge uh in order in order to hit him and he can almost see my entire body uh when i do so you know why he while he still stands behind the wall um, rockets coming up from Kielsen and yeah and i think all the damage i took already it was it was really not worth it like it it was really not still worth raise it. just that little i should have backed up TP earlier already so but i also i did delay the mega half pickup a little so heavy heavy got much closer than you know before so maybe it still was not like a super bad decision to delay him a bit there to put a bit of pressure, you know. Difficult to try and contest the other. Very good LG by me here at at this moment. I mean, that little archway near TP. Is 33 so armor, 160. Yeah, I did. I did good 60 damage here. He only did like 42. So actually, out damaged him. Even it was only by you know by 20. But but still, you know, he has zero armor left now. Just do any damage against your opponent. Kills oh, no. that straight away as he backed off. Razy has been able to pick up that light armor. That was imperative to surviving the push. And I knew, I knew, you know, now I just hit again a bit. He just picked up the armor and I was quite sure. Okay, his stack 
It's, it's really not not looking good right now. The really not looking good right now. On now. Razy tries to go towards. He knew Kevin about the mega because like he, he also picked it up the last late. time, right? As Kilson's already able so, to pick up and then start establishing see what's himself. Going on. Razy, thankfully, was able to pick up that <laughs> light armor. Because if not, that kills him would have been a lot hungrier, yeah. I think, in this he, position. He just stayed in that kind of position. I went for the Mega. With all of that, he goes for the Heavy, of course. Out. Hang on a minute, Kilson. Pushing really heavily in uh, there. He didn't expect me to, the de taken. to delay but the Mega But now he can't here, get actually. back into the room. And then, then I was like, like, Razy uh, went the perfect route without even knowing that the Mega is still up, you know? Um, and uh, yeah, but he kind of cut my route to the, to the Mega Health to restack, actually. And I was like, like, this was like a little accident happening in the game. So. Intensive items, 20 is he going to go for it? But yeah, he, he didn't know, you know. So he went all the way around. Dean, yeah, checking. I'm just thinking this as well. But it looks like they both now, just. Now he, he was only thinking about, okay, I'm going to steal the small armor. And then see off. what's going he on. And he still didn't know about the mega here at this, this point. Miss because it will go to a map five anyway. But Razy in this point can't really do so. Mega is. He still doesn't know that it's still up. Still up has been heavily delayed as well. Just standing his ground, just waiting for the opportunity. Moment. Good decision uh, by me, like perfect timing to drop down. Like the timing was like really on point here just to do that kind of drop. Point, as and now I take position on the uh, on the heavy. Heavy is also going to be coming up soon as well. And deal, deal a little bit of damage. Actually, the damage I did here was, was not bad. Moment, just battle you know, uh, I, I I really I'm going uh, uh, about this situation. I'm going in detail because of reasons, of course. Um, but it's very you know very critical actually. Everything that happens here within the next seconds is very critical uh, of you know Trisha what happens point, next. As heavy as all so ninety, he has ninety eighty. I have like yeah seventy five seventy three. Also could become. He had ninety eighty. He, he had ninety eighty. Well, and look at. And he only did like 12 damage, 90, 80. I only did like uh, 12 damage. <laughs> so we actually both only did like 12 damage. <coughs> but I still, of course, had, uh, had the heavy. So the Megan, I, I knew, heavy, but to okay, this, this one's going to feel good. As well. does a little bit more damage again, but he had his turret ready. It, it kind of kind stopped of what I wanted to do. So I took care about the Surgical turret. Razy restacking again from what happened a little earlier. Does Kilson know when the Mega spawns? Because he chose to completely ignore it to favor getting the armor but in doing so Razy i i knew that mega and heavy were uh, so close to each other wondering, you know, do we because of just the direction Razy ran to the heavy because that's the item that we actually have timing for that armor is, uh, that turret isn't like Razor not a big deal forward, just kill it that quickly damage there from kilson to shut it the down. mega this sudden death means so much either we're going to progress in this bracket or we're going have ability ready map. as soon as I possible think about how both these players are feeling right but now, don't find yourself like in a bad bad situation you know it's basically the dual wood and you Got, because of time coming up I wasn't crazy. really How sure what Razy is up to at this at this moment. To be fair, like I mean, he he knew that I have, or well, he should have known that I have 100 armor. You know. How he's going to try and divide attention and take advantage of that in order to make life hell for kills and some good rockets coming out from kills. But yeah, that two really good rockets. Back and forth with the LG. But then you know, like we were both scared to fully commit in that that situation, like. Um, fully understandable if he, if if he would have committed a little bit more, but uh, yeah, I mean it's overtime. You don't want to risk like too much, you know. Every time you go like one step too far, it could mean it's over, you know. So left on 54 HP. So Razy so rather went for reset. And the heavy. Yeah, now 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 I just uh, picked up the heavy, and I knew that Razy only picked up the small armor, you know. And the 25 HP bubble, uh, because of the position he was in. Just you know, just the time timing wise. In order to make life hell for kills and some good. I mean, how many sectors were were, were like in between? I go restack to 25 bubbles. Of course, with BJ's no, I immediately went to heavy actually. So I was like 75, 100. Razy is like 56, 72. Yeah. So my stack actually is bigger than his because he only took like. Uh, like the small armor and the 25. It's passive and the heavy. Is it he hit a good rocket, but I also hit it hit it good with uh, with the LG. And I knew about the mega to its e exact second, you know. So Razy a little out of position now to take it. So that's why I popped my dual wield. And I, I, in my mind, I was like, okay, there's no way he's gonna win this fight. If I use my dual wield. 
and drop right on Mega. I mean, what's he gonna do? Like, stacks are about the same, and I get some uh, one, uh, yeah, like extra 100 HP. What, what's he gonna do? Again, as you drop and, and then this happens, you know, like dual wield, your model gets like, and he just goes like, I mean, look at this. I, I had such an advantage here by dropping onto the Mega. But my my mistake was using the dual wield actually, and it almost made me die. Both so oh! Left on one HP. But I managed to survive with one HP. Talk about the skin of the team. Takes it three to one in the best of five. One HP, Ryan. You can't make it up if you tried. It doesn't get any closer than that and you can see how much that victory is going to mean to kill yeah someone. because Look, of the the hitbox the job ain't done but that it was is the only the only reason to get as we uh, razy was able to uh, to hit me that much what in that situation unbelievable you, you caught the final bit of that map oh yeah with the rest well, of us. the whole thing but yeah came in here <laughs> thinking you know we uh, could go either way but yeah that that final moment was pretty amazing and uh you're certainly worth talking about but I'll, I'll tell you what i actually want to go back to game one because i think that that was so important for kilson you know he's yes such it a, was uh, a really was very important for me player Game. Just, just uh, to find, to find my full self. Uh, just for that fact, it was uh, such an important base player uh, match like for me. That could have been real finish to uh, damage numbers overall. Yeah, quite, quite equal. Like I did 400 damage more with rockets. He did 100 extra with nail. Uh, 300 with super shotgun, 200 more with heavy machine gun, and one 200 more with machine gun. I mean, very equal, uh, equal all over the board. He's like plus 100. I mean, that's not a lot. So it came down to the wire. Just came down to the wire. I mean, it really did, right? One HP. I mean, what else to say?